I don't know, we, we're going to have a microphone down there. So if you guys want to go ahead and ask your questions and things like that, we want to try to make sure that they're as quick as possible so that everybody can have an opportunity to, to ask a question. Sound fair? Sure. Yeah. All right. So uh, without further ado, we want to go ahead and get as loud as we can, especially so we can beat panel B out there, because we want to make the most noise possible. Mm -hmm. uh, give it up for the cast chainsaw making. <laughs> I, I didn't expect the show to be like so full of love for chainsaws and you guys have absolutely like just brought away from it to us. So it's, it's incredible. Thank you. It's the best. Hell yeah. It's <laughs> Before, because you know, we're, we're going to like leave it open for questions and stuff. How many people here have won the season show? Oh no. Okay. So then. For anyone who does not want to ask if they go ahead and stuff, let's just be weary of spoiling things, not ruining the experience for others. Because truly, one of the great things about the story is going through it for the first time and having those moments really hit you. Know, so uh, we don't want to ruin that. Um, so yeah, I, I think the rule is if you guys have questions, jump on up. Of course, we can laugh for a bit about some stuff, but it's I think it's a. Uh, it's better if you guys can type stuff in the mic here for us instead. So Just don't, in don't, don't be afraid, there's a mic over there in the center. Just in case, to be start by introducing themselves. Yes. So that's Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I mean, I am kind of Jesus. We're all Derek's. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll play it. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm the voice of the NG, aka Chainsaw Man. Woo! 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 I'm Derek Snow. I am very happy to have uh, joined the cast of the Chainsaw Community into the first season, and uh, it's been great. I'm, it's uh, just so exciting. This is my first Chainsaw Man in a What, really? Yeah. 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 One of the best boys being the shark.
for us. It's extraordinary. I love hearing it every time. It's like your favorite story to listen to as a child. Can you tell me again? Why don't you guys know Hayden at this point? I imagine a little fire pit and everything. We just think you all love each other. It's 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 big family. I I think your story is really funny though. You should tell them your story. Um. So. When I first got the auditions in, I had no idea what Chainsaw Man was either, but I remember seeing the characters all over the place on the internet, and I remember Power, too, and I was like, that's a really cute design. Um, and I I happened to come across some of the, like, the first two manga um, my boyfriend had it on them, and so I just read the parts that um, where Power comes in, and um, I thought she was way more chaotic than... Um, she really is. I mean, she is, but like it was more amplified. And it turns out that it's hard to like really world build when you start at random places. Thirty two. Um, <laughs> but in hindsight, maybe it was a good thing that I thought that way because uh, I went a little bit crazy with the auditions because I wasn't sure how amplified she'd be. Um, like it was psychotic. Um, and I kept on like redoing it a few times because I wasn't sure what I was like, like what would she be like? I don't know. And then after I did like three takes, I looked at the trailer and I was like, oh, okay, what am I doing? I know what I'm about. Where is the cool part? Calm down. Okay, okay, okay. But um, I was not expecting anything to come from it because I knew that there was going to be a lot of auditions because both LA and Dallas got it. So there's been, like thousands that are not going to sit through. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm probably not going to back on that one. But that was really um, and I had a session with Mike for one piece. Uh, I was doing books at the time, and we just finished. And he's, but before we did, he's like, Hey, um, let's talk after this. Uh, and I was like, Okay, <laughs> <laughs> um, then we, we finished. I was like, Okay, bye. And then he's like, Oh, uh, uh, follow me. This was this way. I'm like, What? He's like, I reserved a little uh, a room for us to talk. I was like, is this an HR thing? Yeah. Did uh, <laughs> you think you were in trouble? <laughs> that was my first thought. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like the anime moment when they start to sweat profusely. Yeah. I was doing that, but like mentally, I was like, what did I do? What did I say? Did I think of somehow? I'm like trying to like backtrack. Like, I can't think of anything. What did I do? Yeah, it's like, we're going to have to let you go. Yeah. What the fuck? He leads me on this long hallway that feels even longer with all this, these thoughts in my head. <laughs> we entered this little conference room, and I swear to God, it's like one of those little like uh, room closets. Like it's so small, and like I, I walk in, and I'm like, <laughs> there's like one chair. There's one like, <laughs> he feels down. He knows that. Is he gonna pop the question? I'm taking a scalp on like one knee, and then I was like, "Are you proposing?" I can still see my thing. Can't do this. Can't do this. Um, it's all time for the place. I mean, it's a place. I'll lie to you. I was like, I have nowhere to go. I'm trapped. Oh man, he's gonna lay it against me. Um, and he gently tells me that uh, he is the director for Chainsaw Man, and he says, this does not leave this room, but you are the voice of the power. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you're serious? I know. And I was like, who are the others? Yeah. <laughs> Like, the names. He's like, I only took people to the ass. I'm like, okay. <laughs> they tell me I'm Ryan's Chainsaw Man. I'm like, ah, yes! <laughs> my boy! <laughs> and uh, I didn't feel ready at the time, so I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> Down with the citizens. You love Ray. I'm trying to see Z too, because she actually uh, she lived in one of my apartments. Uh, for a minute, she took over my room when That's I was so funny. 
Uh, so it was like, oh, oh man, yeah, we're getting a mommy voice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, but that room was like, okay, cool, that's amazing. I left very, very professionally down the long hallway, down to the elevator, and then I closed the elevator doors, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> I like run in circles. <laughs> And then that all the neighbors were like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool, calm, and collected. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It felt like a dream, honestly. I think the first like, year in general, like it just felt like a fever dream. It didn't feel real at all. <laughs> it took a real long time to like grasp as that actually happened. And it's still, it's still really surreal. Yeah. yeah it's Right. So interestingly, oh sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I just I just know it's the the line. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I don't have to answer. Oh, Put you spare. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 No, no. I truly because I want I want I want people to be able to ask this question. So you guys ask. Yeah. <laughs> My story's not as fun as theirs. <laughs> just I guess just Google it. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it is interesting. <laughs> so my question is, with the characters being a little bit more explicit, how much freedom were you guys given to bring these characters to life? Both a, a fair amount and also uh, very restricted because the script, one, I mean, it's that. You know, when storing the characters, everything are written that well, like, you don't have to make anything up. It's not like we're going to come up with better or anything, you know? Um, but as far as the way that Mike directs, um, he casts people that he trusts to, to already, like, have, you know, their ideas and their intentions and all that fully formed. And then from there, he has very, like, particular ideas. He feels like something needs to reach a certain space. Um, but so much of it was like, the freedom of the energy was, was so, you know, important to us and like creating, like, we didn't realize that the least moment was gonna be as like insane as it was, but to us, like crafting that, you know, was like really special and finding that moment, like, I always try to make him in those moments just like, if I can get Mike to laugh, like if I can get him to cackle on the other line, so then sad, you know sorry. it's probably gonna be a keeper, you yeah. know? And like, he's a really good litmus test for, I think the audience and scene where he really kind of gets it. Um, but yeah, so much of the, I mean like the, the great lines like that I got to say during that first season, that is our amazing uh, adaptive Jessica and also the, you know, the script that she was working off of. It's just like, it's tremendously written. You know, I got to go into the studio and then I see you put the dick in predictable. <laughs> That's Shakespeare, you know? <laughs> There is also, um, yeah, like there's moments where we're like allowed to put like a little something in, yeah. you know, but like not changing it that much. Um, one in particular that I remember is the, was it Eternity Double? When they're trapped in that hotel or whatever. Um, after Copedy gives her heartfelt moments, her little speech, and Power starts to laugh hysterically, yeah. um, she, who was that? I forgot his name. Um, the guy who's. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah. He says, Stop! Stop playing! And then she's supposed to be like, Yes, it is, while laughing. Um, so she's supposed to say, Yes, it is, after she's laughing and having a hard time with it. But like, when I was watching it, I was like, Wait, 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 can we go back in? Because I see, like, she does this one pump laugh in the middle of here. I kind of want to see if we can do, Yes, it is. <laughs> Laugh, 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 and then it worked out, and it was <laughs> like really, really funny. And like that's an example of you adapt because of the animation, the flap. So you look at like, okay, this is what I'm supposed to say. Here's the intention, and here's the physicality. How do I make it most naturally fit that space, you know, and also fit that idea in there? So like that's that's how that's kind of like the improvisation within restrictions. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Give me one moment. Give me one moment real quick. Yeah. Just pull it up my notes. 
Scouts are back. He's going to be like, my chief of all of your performance. So, <laughs> 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 I just want to go ahead and say, y'all are some of the most nice voice actors I've oh, ever met. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you know, from all of our friends. <laughs> but if you know, <laughs> I guess we gotta get to the question. So, so I gotta ask for everyone during the all time in the recording booth. For every one of y'all, which was your most favorite like scene to record? And I, I just really want to know. Mm. Particularly for this show. Yes, for this show. But also, if you want to, you can go ahead and pick another one. I don't mind. I mean, I have been talking about. Yeah, my, yeah. Really, I started very into the first season, so like. I hit the ground at a web, yeah. right? Just coming out, just turning to a big star buddy and just start chomping. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, just the visceral, uh, I knew it was gonna be a short, like initial short session, so I was just working out my diaphragm, okay. ready to scream, right? And I was just, so I was, it's like getting ready for a death metal concert. That's what I was doing. I was getting, I was like, this is gonna be crazy. I'm, I'm just, it's gonna be short, nuts. <laughs> So, yeah, on my, I do warm ups. I, I come from the world of musical theater. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I would just get right out of that stuff going. And that's basically it. Because that's one thing I do. Hell yeah. You were done. Hey, buddy. And we did like maybe two takes. Yeah. Just that oh, yeah. perfect yeah. effort. Yeah. yeah. And I also love, I love getting moves. My favorite sound, which is something called quiets. So, yeah. after a day, they're not stopping, but they don't stop. That's when I throw in my weird crazy zest, right? So, you know, I do the good stuff in this theater. The director thinks, damn, bees are being in there. I think, um, I mean, one of my favorite moments in like all of part one, but in those first 12 episodes, is the alleyway scene between Denji and Aki. Not just because it's funny and it has that great line, but because it's such a great example of their. The two of their mentalities and personalities and the dynamic shift that's going to happen, you know, the way that Aki kind of like pulls him into the alley thinking like, oh, this kid is just like a total gutter punk and I'm just going to show him what's one and show him he doesn't have the stuff and then go back to my life. And then she shows him real quick that he is not made of what he thinks he is and he is not just going to like lie down and take it. And it, it creates not only a total shift in their dynamic, but a a respect in a way, even if it's like he doesn't want to give it to him. And I I just love Denji's resilience and his ferocity and his kind of feral nature while also being so silly, you know? So it was just, that seems so much fun. And put your gusto into a line like, when I fight a dude, it's not so it's not that <laughs> It's a very cathartic thing like that, in the, like any of the, fighting kind of scenes with you or any of that, it's, it's genuinely cathartic because you get to release a lot of energy. You, know? you don't get arrested for doing it. Yeah, so, so it's, it's really nice. Um, and you realize when you get those opportunities, like, because for me, I, until Sanji, I didn't have characters that allowed me that access. And to put your feelings and thoughts and emotions and energies into that space and let it really there is is really, really gratifying. and. and so much of it's understanding to where he's coming from, being able to like give that. And so it's it's so much fun to exalt ourselves for this. <laughs> uh, I have a hard time because there's so many funny scenes, but uh, I think lately I've been kind of like leaning more towards uh, the Keisha Jane moments yeah. where they're just getting murdered a million times over. <laughs> <laughs> that was just funny. And the way they work together after that, too. That's their bonding. Yeah. <laughs> Like, okay, this sucks. <laughs> this scene where they're meet, like on the highway at night, yeah. and they're like finally like, oh, we're gonna take this little teaser out. Yeah, they're still total knuckleheads, but it's just I love, I love that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sadly, I'm gonna have a whole lot to choose from. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna point to Tim, but um, but yeah, it was all of it was super fun. Every little bit that I did get to do. Um, from doing the barks and the doggy noises to getting to do this cute 
will light people like a waste. Um, and oh, actually, you know what? I especially enjoyed doing um, the eating noises when people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was. <laughs> I was so I was so happy to hear when we got to the first episode of Comic Con because we didn't get to hear your voice because you were the last person cast. I was so they didn't hold the auditions for Pochita until everyone else in the first episode had already been cast and had already recorded. Yeah, yes. yeah. So this really it was a very quick thing for the Pochita auditions. It was like I think I found out. 24 hours after I submitted the audition that I had been passed. Right? And they needed me and they were like, great, you need to come in tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> to record for the episode, because it was premiering like the next It's going to be in town. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, right, I got it. Sorry, it's going to the house. <laughs> Amazing. But it was great. So that's it's the first episode at New York Comic Con in front of 5,000 people on a gigantic screen. It's insane. And that was where we first got to hear Lindsay's voice. Fortunately, it was the most adorable, perfect. So, <laughs> so you know, Lindsay and I were literally screaming and squealing at each other's <laughs> arms every time that she made up the voice. Like, yeah. <laughs> did you already know that it was me at that point or no? I think we did. I think I think I did. I had psychic like yeah. <laughs> I think that's the thing you told us to do. That's fine. Yeah, the, the most you all get stewarded. That was my favorite voice. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so tough. Oh. Thank you for your question. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We can't do it. So good. Oh, sorry to Michael. Can I just like to say, I look like one of those. You guys are. Your voice fits the character you're playing. Thank you. And my question is, out of all characters, who is your favorite character? Besides your own. Pleasure. 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 Pleasure.
it's we want it to be right and he wants it to be right and it's like we will we will work it however many times until it feels right it's it's really cool somehow that laugh that i did at the end i forgot to the exact note that starts the song. Yeah. Oh, man. And then it's the I didn't realize it until like, they did it. I didn't even you know, I was like, that's <laughs> it. That's pretty cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to keep this time turning on. I think you guys are amazing voice actors. You did a great job, and I love the dev for the uh, chance song. You're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, my question goes out to those who like AS3 the manga. Um, is there anything like without spoilers? Uh, you guys look forward to recording it all? Like maybe in the future? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm fully up to date like as of last Tuesday. You know, I, uh, I think we have a great this week. But um, as far as, you know, like, the immediacy of what's going on in the movie. There's some I will keep this for the free, but there are there are some set pieces that are so wild that I can't wait to see and, and experience. And there's there's a particular line that, that Denji has that is that I've been waiting for, for for a while. That is like a really prominent moment for him that I think is like really, really gonna be special. Um, but it's it's for anyone who's like, you know, for the uninitiated outside of the 12 episodes, if it seems like these are crazy and you're on like a roller coaster ride, this is like you're on the, you know, ride of the Richard Park. Like, you're not even there yet, you know. It's so, a cliff with a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 You, you, but the, the uh, Darren's character gets a lot of really exciting stuff coming up real soon, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about the things that will make some amazing stuff. Thank you guys very much, I appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, guys. Yeah. Oh. Um, it might be gonna be uh, a music pairing, uh, like I'm wearing this shirt, uh, Janice Chapman. Oh, Janice Chapman. And well, last night I was on Twitter and there was like, um, what would Denji uh, look for the music? I answered, maybe Ryan Span of the Braves, Maximum Dawn, or Lincoln Park, and Pink Floyd. And what would your characters uh, um, would listen to music? Uh, kind of music? I feel like if it's if we're setting it appropriately because Chainsaw Man takes place in like the late 90s, I feel like Denji, because he's everything in the world is so new and exciting to him, I feel like he would probably have the most eclectic playlist. Like he would be the most unaffected by like genre and people's identity. So it would be like you'd have like Green Day and Smash and Pumpkins, and then you'd have like Aqua's Barbie Girl song. <laughs> and, like, it would just be like anything that's like catchy as me. Like he will not judge. He's got insane on there. Like he doesn't care. He's just down. And uh, yeah, like I think he's like he's singing in the shower, trying to do you know I want it that way. The whole thing, <laughs> fully just yeah, on and even. Oh, that's great. The chaos of me wants to say baby shark. <laughs> <laughs> Beats screamo. <laughs> <laughs> my wings too. Hell yeah. I'll just say like something like animal horns. <laughs> I feel like her. Well, like the knitting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this part. Uh, yeah. But I also kind of feel like her preference might change depending on who's in the room. Like she might try to figure out what everybody's like. Most of the genre is for songs. It's like that. Yeah, like maybe like she would play Justin Bieber's baby on the TV. Just like, like Yoga Ono Street Cats. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to picture like, okay, if you like see little coach it out with like some headphones on, he's like, pop the lid and something, what would it be? And I'm like, I don't know, like, it's well. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like, I don't know, 
like like low thigh beats. Yeah. <laughs> those those thigh beats are cute. For are cute floppies. <laughs> now I'm on like just like one of those like forever videos of like tiny thigh beats like floppies. Ah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> true. true. You see that gif of a phone chino doing like a little. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> And also, I um, want to make a huge congrats to Ryan for the um, uh, best um, actor of the year, the Emmy oh, Awards. Oh, thank you. to be voice actors. Also, one more question, it's just like, I'm not seeing. Uh, is it okay, one of you guys, do we have a... Yeah, <laughs> yeah Ryan, of course. You're going to be sponsored if you're ready. Of course, you're a voice actor. Oh, he's so excited. Um, it was something I did before. Um, I did all kinds of things on stage, like mostly singing and dancing and stuff. But uh, I, I found out that voice acting was a thing. I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> so I started dabbling in it or with it at home. And then uh, I found out, oh, it's like 40 minutes away from French Roll or Funimation at the time. And so I signed up for open auditions and I was like, oh, this is great. I like this. So I want to go to, that's a very short answer. Short and sweet. Yeah. Um, I, I started acting professionally as a kid um, with the intention of just doing acting for the camera, so for live action stuff. Um, that's when all my training was in. I took acting classes for many years, um, but all of it was for acting for film. Um, but the uh, talent agency representing me asked at some point if I would also be interested in auditioning for voiceover stuff as well. And I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't really consider that. But yeah, that sounds fun, too. I am happy to do any and all types of acting work. Um, so I went on my first audition at what was then Funimation um, a little over 15 years ago. And I very quickly uh, became my bread and butter acting work. Um, so it wasn't something that I like thought out specifically. Um, it was something that uh, was kind of more just a coincidence of where I happened to live, which is Dallas. Um, the fact that um, Funimation Channel Crunchyroll is in Dallas, and um, especially back then at the time, it was it was a real um, I don't know I'm, I'm blanking on the word, but it, it provided a lot of study work for Dallas area actors. I mean, it still does, um, but especially back then, that was kind of like. That was our, that was our place. <laughs> nice, nice. I've been acting for so long and I'm so tired. <laughs> I, my first, uh, I was, I was, I played Max's as Where the Wild Kings Are when I was five That's years old eight, in Yarrow, Alaska. And that was my first acting. And it's, the rest is history. No, uh, I, 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 I did on camera. I did, I, I failed and succeeded and failed again many, Many times, it's like old life of being an actor, right? Isn't that acting? Yeah, I got edited out of some fantastic shows like House, yes, House Housewives, Scrubs, uh, all kinds of quiet stuff that I was mostly edited out of because like, it's just, but I feel like an actor. And then I joined up, uh, I, I was in musicals, I toured with, uh, if you're old, you'll know who, like, Kathy Ringley, your band, I was in that for a number of years touring. And then I was working on a movie. I happen to have an anime voice actor in it, uh, uh, Brian Massey. He's a very nice boy. He's a man. <laughs> and it was a, it, uh, the movie was a terrible Christmas movie. But it, it inspired me because my wife, my future wife, and I were looking for a place to, uh, to live and work. And she was not enjoying Los Angeles or anything like that. So uh, I kind of had a nation ish area in my sight. So I brought her. And uh, I was overconfident, 
and that's what you need that naivety <laughs> yeah. coming in and not realizing you can it's great. It's great. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like I said, the first the first thing I auditioned for was for money, and I, and I booked it because I was overconfident. <laughs> and uh, I said, oh yeah, can you done, can you done? Yes, sure. Can you write a horse? Yes. I can write a book. I can write a skateboard. Sure, I can. <laughs> and, uh, I'll write a horse. <laughs> And I've been very lucky. I've been I've been uh, living in Texas since. So, yay! Can't you try to find that weird episode of Scrubs? I dare you. I got one for it. You weren't there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> yeah, it's we'll tell you later, right? Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> nothing to do with it. Nothing to do. I I was like a theater nerd, the movie lover at a really really young age. I was obsessed with storytelling, and I wanted to be an actor and a director and all that stuff. Um, but growing up in New York, I I didn't have anybody else surrounding me that was like into it the same way. So I was kind of the outsider and um, couldn't really figure out how to go from loving it and doing it in the circle that I was doing it to like really kind of getting into the industry. For so by the time I was 12, I discovered guitar and I became obsessed with music. And I forced my two buddies to play bass and drums. We started a band. And through all of my teens and 20s, I was singing and playing guitar and we were touring and making records and doing all kinds of stuff. And not in a glamorous way, we were always broke. And, you know, it was like, it was just, it was still the best, you know. Um, and I thought I was supposed to be. Uh, just doing that for my whole life. And then we moved to Los Angeles in 2015 as a band. And a couple of years into that, we were all just kind of hemorrhaging uh, money and all the stuff. And we decided we had to break up the band to save the family sort of thing. So we break up in the same week, the job that I was working laid off my entire department. Like, I don't have a job anymore. Like, Cool, okay, so I'm on unemployment. I have like, you know, I'm already in the red financially because I'm a musician. And <laughs> I'm, I'm in Los Angeles now basically looking like, oh, I think I might have to go back to New York. But instinctually, I was like, I think I'm supposed to be acting. Like, I thought it was like the universe is like, hey, you've been avoiding this for 15 plus years. Here's your one chance. You're already in the You're already struggling. Like, I went in here. Yeah. You know, so when you hear it, yeah. Yeah. Makes it harder. I just went for it and uh, and started doing small camera stuff, and auditioning for anything I could, and I sort of accidentally fell into booking some voiceover stuff, and they just kind of avalanched. And I, I started my, my first voiceover gig was in summer of 2019. Yeah. So I'm still I'm still a baby in a lot of ways. It's crazy, and I, I just feel so lucky to, to be here. It's it's wild. Okay. All right, you guys, I hate to do it. I know oh. we've got, got to start going and other things. So we got maybe one more quick question, um, and then and then we got to get them back. So I, I'm really, really sorry, but yeah, we can get one more, and then we got to go. You can ask us something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They're, they're definitely okay. good things. Um, so what's your favorite ending? Oh, the songs. Yes, I love them. Oh, all so good. I think if I'm going to pick one today, because I feel like I can change my mind all the time, uh, <laughs> it's the TK ending of episode 8. Oh, that was a lot of Yeah. Yeah. I love it too. With like the really shreddy guitars. Yeah. That was my favorite part. Me too. Me too. Wow. Listen to Well, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
Peace out. Oh, peace here. Sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon, sorry. So, Chris, yeah, can you share that with my my I don't know if it's good. Yeah, if you can get us to that point, then I can take it. Then you can make sure they go into the crowd. Then you can just kind of, that back room goes to the back room goes to the green room. Yeah. So, yeah. You just go down all that way and then send that stuff. I didn't want to bump you. Oh, did that was in the way? No, I'm still holding the seats for oh, you zip the up. next one. The guy's going to be you cool. Wanna, you wanna pick I'll, it up? I'll move it as soon as it starts. But I'll, I'll zip it up so nothing fall out for you. Yes. <laughs> I want to be able to, you know, do Everybody the go fit in that right now. Okay. Chris, you're going to start like the three minutes. Oh, so Ryan, the building. Thank y'all. Well, Amazing yeah. energy in y'all's group here. Y'all are incredible. So, you guys might want to grab row five. Five? Uh, yeah, first, first row that it's blue on either side. Okay. And then we're going to let everybody else in. You want to sit here? Or do you want to stay here? Yeah, you guys are good. Here, up oh, this line. This is the cotton, right? Huh? You can go there. Yeah. We're about to let it be on Complete. No. Okay.